Hey everybody. Today, I wanted to take the time and do a little bit of a vinyl update. I made a vinyl collection video maybe around this time last year, and I've gotten a lot of stuff since then that I'm actually really excited that I have, so I, I thought it would be fun to share it. As you can kind of see, it's all in the back over there, so I'm going to be doing a lot of walking back and forth that I'm going to cut out, but let's just get straight into it. Okay, this first section of records are all in the B's. First, we got a very old copy, maybe an original copy, I don't know, actually. I was gifted this, um, of Sgt. Pepper. Okay, there we go, I changed the lighting a bit. But yeah, Sgt. Pepper, right here. This may be my favorite Beatles album, I never can decide. <laughs> but uh, this is, I mean, yeah, it's a great record. Happy I have it, it's classic. Next, you already know what it is. Black Country New Road, Live at Bush Hall. <laughs> it would have been a crime for me to not have pre-ordered this. Love this album. I'm gonna talk more about it in my year-end video or whatever, but I love it. It's so good. Turbines, that song will bring you to tears. <laughs> For a live album, this thing sounds phenomenal. If you haven't heard it, highly recommend it. Love this band so much with all of my freaking heart. Okay, these next ones are all from the same artist, and I loved going through this artist's discography so much that I decided to buy a box set with all of their albums. What I'm talking about is right here. Bon Iver. Bon Iver, Bon Iver, I don't know. It's something like that. But this is his debut, Forever Forever Ago, which is my favorite from him. If you know me, I like indie folk. This shit. This shit. It's like, it's the best record. Just like, I want to go out into the woods, start a campfire, and play this on repeat for like 24 hours. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful record. So much emotion, so much, like, it has a very cozy feeling. Every single song on this record I love. Every single song. Also, just a really cool story behind the record, too. I don't want to talk about it for too long, but yeah, I love, love, love this album. With that box set also included the Blood Bank EP, which is really cool, because this is, this is kind of a nice little EP. Four songs that are all pretty damn good. His second album, the self-titled right here, Love this one almost pretty much just as much as Forever Forever Ago, honestly. It's a lot less stripped back and it has a lot more instrumentation, but it's great. <laughs> it sounds exactly like this album cover. I love albums that are like that. Very cool artwork inside too. I love this. It's so awesome. I wanna I wanna live in whatever world this is. <laughs> we get into his later stuff. 22 million. Very weird left turn for him, but I still love this thing. It's awesome. I do prefer the folkier side of his songwriting, but this is still, I mean, I always appreciate when artists try new things, and this is definitely such a different direction. And I know quite a few people who would call this their favorite Bon Iver album, so. And lastly, we have I, I, or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know if there's like, I don't know if I'm being stupid or if there's a better name for it, but probably my least favorite personally from him, but I still enjoyed it. There's some, there's some banger songs on here. Within the last year, there are so many records that I've been dying to get, and I finally got them. This is one of them. I, I legitimately have been trying to get this album for so long, and then I saw that they repressed it, and I lost my mind. Here we got Ceres and Calypso in the Deep Time by Candy Claws. So much love for this album. So much love. I've played it so many times. So cool. <laughs> show you the inside here. One of my favorite album covers, too, because, it, again, it's one of those albums that looks exactly how it sounds. <laughs> Shoegaze Bliss from front to back. I love every song in here. It's one of my favorite albums ever, probably. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite Shoegaze albums, for sure. It also has a very pretty green vinyl. Um, it has a darker and a lighter one, which is really cool, so. Ooh, and also, real quick, just for the fun of it, this is the anniversary edition of this album, and it came with... A CD of their newest single, uh, Distortion Spear. It's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm happy they included this. I will gladly take this any day. It's a great song. Okay, this next record is an album that I haven't heard. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, uh, but it was a hand-me-down, um, and I will gladly take it and listen to it now that I have it. It's a very old copy of Carol King's Tapestry. Again, I don't have many thoughts about it right now, but um, I'm excited to listen to it because I've heard, again, a lot of good things about it. Here's another one of those records that I've been dying to get for so long. Here we are, Twin Fantasy. What can I say that hasn't already been said? I love the record. It's it's a really good one. Cool gatefold. I love the little, like, I, I like this very abstract looking art. I saw this one in my local record store and was so excited that it was just sitting there, like, just 
looking at me and I'm like, I need this in my life right now. <laughs> Another hand-me-down record, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I don't know what this is, really. I still haven't listened to it. I am kind of intrigued to listen to it. These next four albums are all from the same artist. <laughs> One of my favorite artists ever, and I take a lot of influence from them, and I just love their way of songwriting. And I'm talking about Current Joyce. I like my sad boy music sometimes. What can I say? We have uh, Nick Radigan's debut, um, Wild Heart. This was never really my favorite Current Joys record, but recently it clicked so hard. I don't know what changed about it, but I love it. <laughs> I just love the very DIY nature of Current Joys in general. I just, something about that really appeals to me. The Grimes cover on this album is actually my favorite song. Love Symphonia. I even was able to get his B-Sides and Rarities record, which has a couple of great songs on it. I love Ghosts, Nervous, and Blue. Here's another record from him that grown me a ton. Love this thing. Me Oh My Mirror. This is an album I actually fall asleep to a lot at night. I don't I don't know why. It just has a very comforting feeling. I feel like that's not even the right word because it really is a sad, sad ass album, but it's uh it's one that I really love. I highly recommend Current Joys to anyone who hasn't really dug into Nick's stuff. Uh it's not for everyone and sometimes I I can understand why people would say it comes off a little cheesy. Sometimes, I don't know, but I, like, there's something that really just hits me in the heart with his songwriting. It's, especially with Voyager, which is the album that came out in 2021, um, in the last vinyl video I showed that one, but yeah, I really love his songwriting. I'm not done, I'm not done either, there's one more. Lastly, we have A Different Age. This is his saddest album, 100%. It is devastating. But then again, that's kind of what I love about it. It's an extremely personal, emotional beautiful experience. The title track on this album, oh my god. <laughs> love this whole thing. I also love the way the vinyl looks. It's a really cool white and red uh, pressing. But yeah, again, love, love Current Joys. I think uh, my Spotify wrapped, I, I got that recently. My top artist was actually Current Joys. <laughs> so I don't know what that says about me, but judge me if you want. Okay, next up here we have a underground classic, Hi, How Are You? by Daniel Johnson. Very, it's one that's kind of it, it really hits different on vinyl. I don't, for me personally, it kind of does. I don't, I don't know why. Cool little thing. It even has Kurt Cobain in here because he loved this album. I also love the little dude on the back here. I'm gonna cover this up. Here we, <laughs> here we have the Money Store by Death Grips. It has a cool little back too. But this is my second favorite Death Grips album. I think. I think I like Bottomless Pit the most. This is another record. So happy I have it now. Really been loving this one over the past couple of years. Uh, Stratosphere by Duster. It's a sad boy. It's, it's, it's a sad boy music. It's... This is like the perfect album for vinyl though. Like I will say, this this album hits on vinyl. Because it's already sort of lo-fi in a lot of ways, but on vinyl it just it adds that extra like effect to it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really cool. This is an album I will listen to front to back like pretty much all of the time. Whenever I listen to this, I pretty much listen to the whole thing just cuz it's it sets you up in this really specific feeling. It's it's really unique the feeling this album gives. I'm sure a handful of y'all have already heard this record so you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. <laughs> also, the pressing I got, very very cool light blue uh, vinyl. Love it. Okay, we're entering post-punk world. Um <laughs> right here we got Skintifia by Fontaine's DC. This record I initially liked on first listen, but it grew so much on me after multiple listens. I think a lot of people would say that the singer is very monotone, but I think that it just kind of fits the feeling this album is going for. I do love the very uh, gothic kind of post-punky vibes that it sets up sometimes. Reminds me a lot of Joy Division. I think my favorite song, either the opener, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I really like How Cold Love Is and uh, the title track. Very cool pressing as well. I'll I'll show this one as well, but it's very very cool looking. Very dark red. Okay, this record, this one. I was lo I, I've been looking forward to this record so long. I've been waiting. I've been salivating for this record. <laughs> 3D Country by Geese. If y'all don't know, huge Geese fan. Huge huge Geese fan. I was a fan when their last record, Projector, came out, fell in love with that thing, and uh, was really excited to see where they were going to go next. And I'll tell you, this is not where I expected them to go next. <laughs> they went southern post-punk, art punk, I don't I don't know. It's, 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 it's an insane record. So much different than Projector. Definitely has a lot more production quality and a lot of details, a lot of crazy shit going on in this thing. I still personally like Projector, a little bit more just because it has more emotional value to me, 
but this is still one of my favorite records of the year easily. Also, this has a clear pressing, which is kind of interesting, but pretty cool. Okay, here's another hand-me-down record that I got. Led Zeppelin 2. It's a classic. It's a good record. I Again, I used to be a huge, huge, huge Led Zeppelin fan. Still like them. I'm just a bit burnt out just because I grew up with them and listened to them so freaking much. This is a good one, though, for sure. Okay, y'all. Okay, here we... This is... Oh my god. <laughs> I still cannot believe I have this album on vinyl. I, I like holding it in my hands right now. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> this is my favorite album of all time. It is The Glow Part 2 by The Microphones. Again, I could go on and on and on endlessly about how much I love this record. It is, again, my favorite album ever. I didn't even know I could have a favorite album ever until I heard this album. <laughs> this album means so much to me. At some point, I might make a whole video on this album, maybe, if I get the motivation to. I'm not gonna rant on it for too long, but yeah, just... This is, this is my, this is my child. This is <laughs> an album that is very closely associated to that one. I also have, <laughs> In the Airplane Over the Sea. Great record, you already know the deal. It's classic. Uh, this is the very first album I ever reacted to on this channel. Super happy to have it on vinyl. It sounds freaking great. It sounds awesome on vinyl. I mean, same with the glow part too, but also love the weird art here on the back. This is another, oh man, I know I have so many records I'm so excited about, but <laughs> this is another one that I'm super excited about. Give Up by the Postal Service. Fell in love with this record as soon as I heard it. I love this thing. This is actually my favorite thing that, uh, What's His Face is ever been a part of. It's the singer of this project that is also the singer of Death Cab for Cutie. I love Death Cab for Cutie so much, but this is my favorite thing that he's ever done or been a part of. I just love the electronic sound. Everything is so unbelievably catchy. This whole album, every single song gets stuck in my head all the fucking time. I think my favorite on this record is maybe Clark Gable, maybe Brand New Colony. I really love Natural Anthem too. That one grew on me a ton. Also, I'll show it here, but uh, has a very awesome, like, blue with little silvery dots in the middle, vinyl pressing, awesome, love it. Okay, adding to my Queens of the Stone Age collection, maybe not a record you'd immediately expect me to want to so seek out, but uh, Villains. I know a lot of people would call this my, their least favorite Queens of the Stone Age record, which I don't get. I love this record so much. Every song near bops, dude. Every song goes crazy. <laughs> this is the first Queens of the Stone Age album I actually ever heard in full. Maybe I'm, maybe that's why I love it so much. I really, I, I mean, Feet Don't Fail Me, Evil Is Landed, Villains of Circumstance. Also, potentially my favorite Queens of the Stone Age album cover. Very cool gatefold as well, look at this. Very, very cool. Always love, always love the art behind the Queens of the Stone Age. I've already been recording for like 45 minutes. I can't shut up about this shit. Y'all gotta shut me up. We're talking about Shame. Songs of Praise. Growing me so much as a debut album. I always kind of thought Drunk Tank Pink was a lot better, but this one, this one really is growing me so much. So many freaking bangers on this thing. Post-punk bangers. Great record. Also got their newest record, Food for Worms on vinyl. This is my favorite Shame record which is saying a lot because I love uh, Songs for Praise and Drunk Tank Pink, but god damn, this record's so good. All the People, Different Person, uh, Alibis, Fingers of Steel, Six Pack. I mean, I could go on. <laughs> also, god damn, the vinyl, the pressing of this thing looks so awesome. Um, very reminiscent of the album cover colors here. Spirit of the Beehive. Uh, this album is called Entertainment Death. My friend was recommending me this group and front to back, amazing. Every single song, n n like I just listen to the whole album whenever I want to put it on. Also love the album cover right here. It's very reminiscent of groups like Sweet Trip, kind of. I That's the vibe I kind of get from it. It's very glitchy, very weird, very all over the place. It's a lot to swallow as a listen, but it's such an entertaining album. Really have been coming back to this thing a ton this year. Underrated album here, I'm that's, I'm saying, underrated. Also has a very interesting colored pressing here. It does match the album cover quite a bit. Oh God, here we go, I'm gonna start ranting again. <laughs> again, I'm gonna go more in depth in my year end video that I always do, but Oh Monolith, Squid. Was looking forward so much to this record and it's so good, it's so good. I think I like this record more than Bright Green Field, honestly, which is, again, saying a lot. I freaking adore that record. Every song, love on this thing. I love Swing, Inside a Dream, Undergrowth, The Blades. Siphon Song, that's actually my favorite song on this album as well. Love the pressing on here too. Light blue, like see-through vinyl, very awesome. 
Another artist I fell in love with over the year, we got Sufjan Steven with Illinois and Michigan, both of his uh, 50 States albums, which he only did two of. I, I mean, I completely fell in love with Sufjan this year, uh, went through his whole discography. These are actually my two favorites. These are my two favorite Sufjan albums. I honestly think Michigan and Illinois are very close to each other in terms of my favorites. Like, I love the more vibrant side of Illinois, but I also love the more real back tone of Michigan at the same time. I don't know. I mean, I think Illinois might be one of my favorite albums ever now. I mean, I think a lot of people would say that Illinois is pretty damn fucking good, but uh, yeah, I, I love it. Love, love, love it. Michigan should not be overlooked either, because man, this is another really great one. Velocity Design Comfort by Sweet Trip. I have it. I can't believe it. <laughs> one of my favorite albums of all time. Gatefold looks super sick. Chocolate Matter is one of my favorite songs ever. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a little cajumbled right now, but... Oh, once, one thing that was... The first time I listened to this, it really caught me off guard because the, the order is different on the vinyl version. Chocolate Matter is third? Regardless. Love this thing. Okay, here's the last batch of albums uh, that I have. It's five more. This one, I'm actually... This is my most recent pickup, and I uh, was really stoked about it because it was pretty cheap. Come In by Weather Day. Really, really cool record that has grown a lot in me recently, and I mean, it's very lo-fi, and I mean, on vinyl, it sounds sick. Cool album cover, really love the art on this thing. Like, look at this. Love the person here, like, surrounded by all these houses. It gives off very, like, wintry vibes. Also love the color to this one a lot. Pretty cool pressing. It's, it's really interesting, because this album is lo-fi, but at the same time, it feels so detailed, and just all the synths and electronics that are used are awesome. Okay, so this last little bit of vinyl here is interesting. As a fan of video games, I have gotten quite a few video game soundtracks over this year. I'm a big uh, indie video game fan. This vinyl, so stoked to have. It's so sick. This is uh, from the game One Shot. Beautiful game, one of my favorite games ever, and uh, the soundtrack is just such a vibe. This is the this is the like soundtrack I like to put on when doing homework or just working on something and I just kind of want to have something in the background. This is this is the shit for that. So many great moments and really just vibey stuff. Also, I mean, this is so freaking cute. Look at look at this is my homie Nico right here. Oh, I love this too. Love the gatefold. I'll show the pressings here too. They're really cool looking. I mean, just it matches really well. <laughs> so yeah, I love that one. Um and this one, my friend got me this. I cannot believe how generous he was with this. I am so grateful for this. This is <clears throat> the Undertale soundtrack. I love Undertale. I do. It's a great game. Um, and yeah, I, the whole soundtrack here on vinyl. There's five vinyls. Five of them. You can see right there. Oh, I mean, there's just a lot of different colors. I'll try and show it on the turntable and whatever. It's, it's a really cool soundtrack. There are some great songs. A lot of the songs are just like really short and sometimes it's kind of funny that they just go in and out really quickly, but this is definitely something I'm extremely grateful that I have. So a huge shout out to my friend there. Continuing off of Undertale, we also have the Deltarune soundtracks. Chapter one and two. Chapter one and two, right here. I'm holding it the wrong way. Here's chapter one. Very cool looking. Love the art so much. Here's chapter two. Also, these are colored, so I'll pull these up here. Uh, these are all from Fangamer, a uh, very cool uh, website for soundtracks. But yeah, that'll do it. That's that's all the vinyl I've gotten. It's It's been a fun year getting all these records. Some of my favorite albums ever I have now on vinyl, and I'm just hoping to keep, keep that list going up and up. <laughs> it's definitely my hobby. I want to be one of those old people that has just an entire room dedicated to vinyl. It's going to be the one thing I collect my entire life, probably, so. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching. I know I've been a little bit slacking on the reactions, but I'll try and get to it uh, somewhat soon. I've just, again, a lot of things going on, and I'm going to do the year-end list. I have another video idea ready as well, and yeah, there's some more albums I need to react to from this year that I want to listen to by the end of this year, even though it's already December. There's a lot, there's a lot, uh, <laughs> but I hope you all understand either way, um, and I still hope you've enjoyed the videos that I've been putting out recently. Always leave shoutouts, always leave recommendations. Maybe sometime I'll get around to it all. But yeah, thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you soon.